we're gonna have a little girl night we're gonna go ahead and have a sleepover um you guys already know that on my channel i like doing a lot of girl talks and it's me not giving you guys advice i usually do the sister talks with my sister a lot on my channel um you guys always seem to really like the my girl talks i try to like do one as much as i can because i know i have a young audience as well i know that i have a lot of people my age even older sometimes but i feel like it's always good to have these like little moments and just talk to you guys so today um i turned off like all my like bright lights and all that hopefully this light isn't bothering you guys i really hope not um but today i just want you guys to go ahead and lay down so make sure to settle in you know Put on some comfy clothes right now. I'm wearing like this hoodie and like sweats. I want you guys to be as comfortable as possible. Lay down, get a snack, grab a drink, just get comfortable. And we're gonna have a real talk. We're just gonna have a sleepover, okay? We're gonna have like a really nice girl talk. If you guys ever feel like you guys need to talk to someone, you guys know I'm here. You guys can go ahead and DM me on my Instagram. I'm always open to have conversations with you guys. I try to reply to a lot of you guys who always sent me like, if you guys have any problems with your i'm gonna put my hair up because i feel like we're just gonna be comfortable today so i actually asked you guys on my instagram to ask me juicy questions for a girl talk um i put be comfortable and ask anything you want or been curious to know about i want to show your name on the video so you can feel more comfortable so just know that this is a very comfortable environment i'm not here to judge you or anything if you guys are ever curious of something you you know feel free to ask me on my dms or even when i make these videos if you guys feel comfortable about about me talking about these because you're most likely not the only girl who has those thoughts that you do so one of you guys asked me how many times a week do you have to shave your cat my opinion on shaving it's really up to you there's not a time and date that you should be shaving like it's all up to you it's really depending on how you feel if you don't want to shave it's okay that's totally okay and i don't want to hear any negative comments about like oh wow well, girls should shave you never know no actually it's not mandatory to shave it's just something that people do nowadays but back then people didn't even like shave it wasn't even a thing you know um and your hair actually like saves you from a lot of bacteria infections it's not bad to have your home girl with hair she sometimes doesn't want to be bald, so don't want her to be bald. When considering the shave, just make sure um, you're doing it because either you you feel uncomfortable or you just want to shave or something. You don't have to have a schedule on what days you have to shave or what days you should you know, shave your armpits or shave your legs. It's just all up to you. A lot of you guys are asking me for advice for like sex and I'm like, girl i'm a virgin i gonna be straight up honest i'm a virgin i mean that from the bottom of my heart i put that on everything i'm a virgin a lot of you guys always ask me like if i'm saving myself for marriage or what am i waiting for you know to like just do it now um but i'm just waiting because i feel like i'm not at the age where i want to give it up just yet I do want to wait a couple more years and I know a lot of you guys are going to be like what the heck you're going to wait but yes I'm waiting until like after high school not sure why I've just always had that mindset like I want to wait after high school I'm not saying that it's going to happen but if anything you know you, you never know what will happen I might lose it before I never know I just want to make sure that I'm going to be safe and I'm going to be comfortable not only doing it but like in my own body and I just want to wait for the perfect time i feel like the time will come i personally don't feel like i'm getting rushed to have sex or anything my boyfriend is completely supportive of like my decisions not gonna lie we've talked about it obviously it's good to talk about things like that so you guys can both be on the same page so if you have a boyfriend i really recommend talking about this if you guys have been dating for a while and like possibly thinking of having sex i really hope you guys are having a lot of communication because communication is key i'm really open with my boyfriend at this point me and my boyfriend are almost gonna be a year so i'm really open with him um i feel really comfortable around him i can talk about anything like if i'm on my period i'll be like i'm on my period did not get on my last nerve and we talked about like you know obviously having sex because he was like hey like would you ever feel comfortable and I obviously talked to him and I told him I wanted to wait like after high school but if anything ever happens I do want to be very very protective and a lot of you guys were asking me for advice but as a virgin <laughs> I could tell you guys my best advice to a lot of you guys who are thinking of having sex or might be in a relationship and like considering having sex one day 
I really hope you guys are doing it because you guys are comfortable and you guys are ready for it not because you're getting pressured or you feel like you need to do it because you're in a relationship or you've been dating your boyfriend for a year or for five months like you will do it when your body's ready when you're ready when you're physically and emotionally ready it's always good to make sure that you guys are both being protective as well as yourself being protective and your boyfriend sex is you know what people say it can be fun but at the same time it can be a very dangerous thing to do so just please be careful um always use protection there's a lot of ways that you can take care of yourself if any of that goes wrong there's always like a lot of other ways like plan b's or anything it's your body at the end of the day you make the decision it's your body remember that it's your body no one else can say what what to do with your body it's your body and your body only you make the decisions you know what's right for your body and you know what you personally feel i really i'm sorry i can't give you guys advice i promise you guys once i'm not a virgin i'll make another girl talk and i will talk about like my first experience or make a story time and then i'll give you guys the like the best advice uh so for right now <laughs> I can only give you advice of what to do if you are planning to do it that also goes along with what time you think is best to do it with your partner um, when you think you should do it what's the right age that's all up to you like I said it's your body you make the decisions not your friends not your boyfriend not your parents your parents can have a say in it obviously they want your they want you to take care of yourself just make sure to know that what you're doing it's because you want to do it and because you're comfortable doing it and because you're comfortable with the person that you're going to be doing it if your partner is treating you right do it because he loves you do it because you guys love each other not because he's wanting to grab you and do whatever he wants to do with your body no it shouldn't be like that just make sure to do it when you're obviously in the mood basically because you have to be in the mood to obviously have sex so is it normal to get blood clots it's so funny because i'm on my period right now so yes it's totally normal i get them all the time i can be i can like be sitting down and i cough and oh I know TMI I'm so sorry but this I told you guys we're gonna get real down on this girl talk we're gonna get comfortable we're having a sleepover girl but yes it's completely normal I get them all the time like literally every time I get my period I get them like every day on my period I have such heavy flows don't freak out though it's completely normal it happens to almost every girl it's completely completely normal the next one is i need advice to get over a boy it's been really hard for me i experienced one breakup because i've only really had like one boyfriend in my life um the rest i've talked to didn't really hurt <laughs> i was kind of just like oh like we weren't even official like we we're just talking like i don't care so i'm like laying down now because i got really like uncomfortable like sitting like i felt like i wasn't comfortable talking to you guys so we're gonna talk about how to get over a breakup like i said it's not easy it will never be easy you know getting over someone you felt so emotionally attached to and they had such a big place in your heart when i first went through my first breakup i went through a lot i i'm one of those people to hide my feelings a lot i'm a sagittarius um i'm not sure if i'm like the only sagittarius who does this but i hide a lot of my feelings i can be going through so much things but i keep it in me because i feel like I just feel safer like that when I first went through my first breakup it was really hard it was super hard um, only a couple of my friends know from my middle school how hard it was and I don't cry because oh like Deliza misses him no I cry because I see how hurt I was and it just kind of gets me because I went through so much through middle school first time he actually broke up with me was on my birthday yes on my birthday like I was turning 13 I believe <laughs> and he broke up on my birthday i was so sad this was actually in eighth grade i had a basketball game and um i was shopping i was doing some um birthday shopping with my godmother and um i was going to the fitting room and i remember i got a text from him and he's like deliza and i was like yeah what happened and he was like hey i think we should break up and i immediately started crying and i felt like i felt like i was in the dressing room I felt like the doors were like closing on me i started crying i didn't know what to do like i just didn't even want to do anything no more he like ruined my day that whole day it was one of the worst birthdays because like who the heck breaks up with you on your birthday like that's just so fucked up of a guy to do that like why would he do that like they just don't think so obviously um 
we got back together because my dumbass was like please don't break up with me so we got back together um turns out to a couple days later we broke up for some reasons i remember like just me staying home a lot like i didn't want to eat i was always in bed i was always simping i was always hearing like sad music i just didn't want like anything to do with guys anymore i thought my life was over at that point i i thought like my life was over with boys at that point i was like oh my god like i never want to date any guys anymore just because of the hurt he did i felt like it reflect it made me think every boy's the same every boy's gonna do that to me but it's not like that it's really not like that and i've learned with the past boys i talked to it's not easy to let go of someone you love so much it's not easy at all my biggest advice is a lot of you guys are young please don't like think that if you break up with the guy it's the end of the world don't be like me don't think that every guy is gonna treat you the same that every guy is gonna every guy is gonna cheat on you that every guy is gonna do this you really have to take time to love yourself and look for the best guy there's so many people out there guys there are truly so much people and i really hope that you guys know that once you leave someone it's not the end of the world many of you guys are young you guys are going to meet so much people and there's going to be that one day where you feel like butterflies sparks everything fireworks behind this perfect man that you just met and you're going to look back and you're going to be like wow like i couldn't believe like six years ago i was talking to my little middle school boyfriend thinking my life was over because i lost someone who i love so much we're all human we are all going to go through breakups we're all it's not going to be the same ever but i just want you guys to know that please don't think the world's over please don't think that you should harm yourself for a guy please don't think that you're gonna be stuck on one guy forever it's gonna take time to get over him work on yourself really reflect on the person that you're you want to be and that you will be because after a breakup i feel like everyone learns a little lesson from everything i I feel like I have learned a lot of lessons behind a lot of the people I used to talk to that I that I date that I dated and stuff like that. And I feel like every little guy that ever broke up with me, I have I've learned a good life lesson. Um, first one I've learned was obviously not to not to let myself go for a guy that I fell in love with in middle school. It was the worst thing ever. I look back at it, I'm like, wow, like I thought I was in love with this person and I truly feel like I look back at it and I'm like wow like he didn't even, what like that was not nothing compared to what I think my standards are now don't lose yourself for a guy don't ever do that just once after a breakup make sure to clear your mind delete every photo of this guy and don't start posting petty stuff like indirectas like shade or whatever like don't post shade or anything el mundo da muchas vueltas like my mom has always told me the world gives a lot of spin we're never gonna know what happens tomorrow so like my biggest advice for any who are going through a breakup go out have fun and meet new people explore get to love yourself before you can love anyone else i mean that know that you're a bad ass bitch and there's so many guys out there for you He's not the only one and he will never be the last one someone said do you ever get insecure by the way your cat looks or get scared it smells bad even though it but i really don't care how my cat looks she's her like honestly um i really don't care like i said a lot of you guys get insecure because you guys think our guys are going to talk about your cat like i said a real man a real guy wouldn't ever disrespect you in the way he's like oh your cat is ugly like don't be embarrassed because your cat looks a certain way or is or the color of it or the shape or the figure whatever you know it's your cat don't feel insecure about something that's part of your body love yourself like i said love your body love the way that you are everyone's different and so are your best friends one of my biggest tips for maybe of it smelling bad or something i really recommend drinking a lot of water it's helped me before your kitty cat is not always going to smell like flowers and daisies it's always going to have like a scent it's your kitty cat it's obviously going to smell like something you can't always smell like your body wash or really good it's always going to have a really odd scent but what what can we do about it please don't use perfume 
on your kitty cat please only use unscented soap i said this in the past but unscented soap is really good for your kitty cat if you use scented soap it can really throw up your ph balance it gets really irritated down there if you use any scented soap scented body washes scented perfumes anything please don't mess with that it's really bad you don't want to get a yeast infection or anything like that so please take care of it just wash it with water and unscented soap i usually use a dove unscented soap or any unscented soap i really don't care the brand it just has to be unscented and i usually only wash my body with like body wash and then i get another one and i clean down there with an unscented soap does discharge also ruin some of your underwear yes all the time literally i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god all my underwears are just exactly like how i bought them no if they're not brand new they all have like a little stain of my discharge or my period my underwear is not cute from right there it has a little stain all the time and i honestly thought i was the only girl who always had like a little stain i was like i'll have a little chart here so you guys can go ahead and see like the different types of discharge that you might get like really watery thick thin um really white really clear it just all has a different meaning but just know that it's completely normal to get some on your underwear and leave stains if you missed your period and not pregnant what does it mean for a young teen your period isn't always going to be like the exact day that you might think you might get it a lot of us have a period called in regular period where you get it either every month every two months really depending on your cycle i have a friend that she gets it like once a year and i'm like so every girl's body is completely different i have to deal with fake friends because it's kind of hard to drop them when you've been their friend for so long fake friends oh my god i struggled so much with friends at the moment i have no friends i literally have one friend and one friend only right now i feel like my biggest advice for like fake friends i, I honestly don't know i go through it so much that like i don't even have advice for myself so this is Something I want you guys to also talk about in the comments. What your guys' advice is for fake friends. I feel like we all need that because even myself, I need advice for fake friends because I have so much fake friends. I obviously let go of them once I start feeling an icky vibe, I see something weird. Bye! What to do when I stain my underwear when I'm on my period? By the way, love you like a big sis. Oh, I love you too. I always get my underwear with a little drop of blood. I'm like, <laughs> I always try not to wear my cutest underwear when I'm on my period. I try to wear like the ugly, like looking ones, like the ones that already have like period blood on them. So my biggest advice is to use the ugly underwear that already is like old and like crusty and has like blood on it, like little stains on it. I use, I try to use those and I try to use like a lot of boy shorts because they're the most comfortable. Don't use thongs when on your period. Don't do that. Uh-uh. Don't. Mm -mm. and if i do get any stains on my underwear i obviously just i'm like uh, put them to wash and then i just go ahead and use them as my period underwear so if you get stain on your underwear don't be like oh i need to throw it away no don't throw it away i mean if it's like really bad then throw it away but if it's like little drops or like little splash or i don't know try to wash it as fast as you can and then once you wash it if it's like really bad stain then throw it away like disgusting stain throw it away but if it's like red use it as your period underwear because that's what i always do also when i'm shopping for underwear i always try to get like at least like two to three pairs for my period i try to get like boy shorts and i try to get dark colors don't try to get light colors because it's really noticeable so i try to get like burgundies black um like a dark blue or dark purple like really dark colors i wonder if you guys asked me <laughs> have you ever did the dirty or at least got close to doing it like se pusieron calientes <laughs> Yes. Like I said, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. Um, los pusimos calientes. You know, like you're in the moment. You're like, mm, you know, you're you're cachoreando, making out, whatever. And then you're like, damn, wait, hold up, what a second, nope. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta come down. I gotta come down. Mm. <laughs> Horny teenager. My nana always told me, cuando te pongas caliente. Levántate, vete al baño y te tiras agua helada hasta que se te quita la calenturera. I didn't find the question on here, so I'm not gonna have the screenshot. But I did see that one of you guys asked me, is it normal to have a mustache and being a girl? I have a mustache and I'm a girl. I have to be shaving it like at least every two weeks or so. It's completely normal. Don't feel like, oh my god, I'm a girl. I have a mustache. I'm a guy. No. It's completely normal to have little hairs on your face. Oh, and there's the little picture of the razors I used to shave 
my mustache um i haven't tried any face creams because i feel like i can get really irritated or my face can get really irritated so i try to stick with little razors i usually like just like wet it you know a little bit and then i just go in and shave really carefully all around completely normal to have a mustache i always got bullied for it when i was younger i was really like tan back then so you can like really see my mustache and i didn't start shaving until like i was in seventh grade it was bad anyways that is it for today's sleepover we're, we're now going to sleep i really hope you guys enjoy this little talk with you guys i definitely had a lot of fun filming this i feel like it was really chill video um definitely really like having these chill videos on my channel i really hope i helped you guys give you guys a little bit more advice than i should um and i really hope you guys felt comfortable here as well as i felt comfortable talking to you guys and i'll catch you guys up on the next clip bye guys hey comment it's me i've been thinking about you lately